FX presents the Indie Podcast with your host, T. Sterling Watson. Good morning. Wow, okay, that was weird. Uh, good morning, Indubians. I'm T. Sterling Watson. And I'm Courtney. This is the Indu Podcast, where drive time meets late night talk show as we aim to entertain, enlighten, provide an auditory escape with knowledge and nonsense. Thank you for stopping by and pressing play. We're recording live from the south side of Wakanda in Little New Indubia on the corner of Tachaka and MLK Drive. Sorry, I sound like I was revving up an engine or something kind of weird. I don't know, I'm still trying to find it and just something, you know? It takes a little practice, that's all. It, it does, and, and I don't think about it until I, I hit that first note of good, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, oh, let's see where we're going to go. And I just, it felt like I just took the driving wheel, the steering wheel, and just like, you know, when you're pretending like to drive and you're just doing just random motions, but if you were doing it in real life, you'd just be all over the street. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So I was driving this podcast in a very weird way, but hey, we're, we're here. We're, we're settled. We're cruising. Mm-hmm. How are you doing? I am fabulous. How are you? I am I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hopeful. Uh, good. Um, but, uh, what's the word I was looking for? Um. Not prosperous, but I'm, I'm sure pros- prosperity is coming my way. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, but like, mm-hmm. you know, um, the prospects are out there and I feel like I'm Good. getting closer to them. Good. That's a yeah. great feeling. It, it, it is because I'm like, like doors are opened and I got to say that I'm, I'm really taking advantage of LinkedIn. And I think I mentioned that last episode, possibly, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I'm I'm really taking advantage of all that it has to offer because I decided to do the premium thing and like I'm getting like extra little tips like, hey, this job just opened. You might want to check it out. So I'm like, okay, maybe I will. And I'll just kind of, you know, shimmy on over there and do, you know, whatever. And it's it's still a bit exhausting because it's still work having to yeah. look for the applications, having to apply to them, mm-hmm. having to, uh, you know, tidy up resumes, which I'm still kind of working on doing that. But also, um, well, at least with this last one that I did, it actually took all the information pretty pretty closely and put it into the field so I don't have to retype it again because that is, Good. yeah, that's, that's super annoying. Part. It is. Mm-hmm. It truly is. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, if anything, they just had me answer some questions, which I did. And just, you know, it's like, okay, let me, I'm putting all of my best feet forward. So, <laughs> yes. Well, 10, 10 11 toes all- down. Yeah, yeah, at least, right? Mm, At at least least that hard work is going to pay off because, you know, I mean, you really have no choice but to pay off at this point. When you put all that out there, it's got to come back to you and it's going to come back in the best way. Exactly. I agree. And and thank you for that because, I mean, it's, I mean, the more you do it, and as my my dad and his his trusty words have always kind of haunted me all my life, you're going to get a, let's see, how did he put it? Um, I think 99 no's. So you get that one yes. Oh, Something to yeah. that effect. Some, yeah. It's, uh, I can't think of it, but I, hmm. it's something to that effect. You're right. It, mm-hmm. it might have been just a flat out 100 no's before you get that one yes. But regardless, yeah. I am getting closer to that yes. Because yeah, I also did get are. a no today. And uh, we, we discussed it earlier. I'm, I'm over yes, it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Are chuckling. I'm, I'm chuckling because of your response. Cause you, I felt like you, if you could have made the typeface bigger within a text message <laughs> mm-hmm. to, to say, cause I said, yeah, this happened. I didn't get this job and I'm like, I'm already over it. But then the way you responded as if, as if, you know, way back in the, uh, uh, key and peel sketches where they had, um, Obama mm-hmm. and his uh, anger, and tra- anger yeah. translator. Yeah. Right. I felt like you were that person for me. And you were just, you know, exclaiming how mad you were that they didn't, you know, look at it was like, you didn't even look at, it. you just rejected him. You didn't give him a chance. And I'm like, it's, it's cool. It's all right. So it's, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm past it because not only that, I applied to something else. So I'm just keeping the ball moving, keeping it going forward. We're, we're moving forward. We're going. And, and that's how, that's how we roll. Well, I'm glad that you're keeping a very 
you know, positive attitude about it. Because honestly, that's the only thing I think that's going to really get you through. It's just keeping it moving. You know, you mm-hmm. can't really get hung up on the on the um, on the nose and all the all the hangups because you're going to face them. Period. So you are. It's it's yeah. inevitable, Mister Anderson. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. Yes. See, mm-hmm. everything's the matrix. <laughs> Inevitability. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll move on. Um, spe- <laughs> speaking of work, I, I do have a uh, story. I was going to tell it later, but I guess you know what? Why not now? Why not now? Because it also happened today. So don't keep it, the people waiting. I, I, won't, I won't. I mean, it's not <laughs> the story. There are some stories people are waiting for me to tell, and I'll just also say that um, not this episode because I'm not prepared for it. But shout out to Birdo, who has been keeping us posted that his auntie ghost has been, I don't want to say she's been active, but there is activity and he has updates for us. I am not ready to provide those updates, but. Do I know these updates? I mean, you were in the group text. I don't (laughs) think you. (laughs) Uh, Maybe I haven't responded. I don't don't think you did. I don't know if I know these updates. Sometimes you don't respond, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if she sees this, and it's just me and Bertle having a conversation. So Apparently I don't. <laughs> it's it's like once in a while, and I know the I think the recent one we were talking about a goofy movie, which I'm gonna uh, do a yeah. quick check. Did you? Watch it? No, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that too? Like it's it's a Only terrible because thing. You know that life is uh, a little cray right now. So true, true. You know, but you, you do movies. manage, you do manage to find some slivers of time to do things. I do, but then I have to catch up on all the other things I've been putting off and a goofy movie is just, but one of many, many things I've been putting mm-hmm. off. So, mm-hmm. I mean, cause I do applaud you for getting around to watching. What if I don't think you finished all of it, but you've watched enough That's of it. Good, yeah. Got an, I got, I watched enough of it, but I still haven't finished that. <laughs> okay. So, and, and you know, I, I give you flowers where, where they're due. I can't give you the goofy movie flower because well, you have not seen it. I haven't, it. I haven't earned it. Yeah. I get no. it. I'll take that. So there's still going to be some references that I'll just kind of throw out there and only a few people will catch them. Everyone okay. else will catch them except for you. So I'm like, here's your I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, as for a story I can tell that like nobody was there except for me and this, this one person. This happened at work. And again, I always have to preface with this because I, I, we, this could be a first time listener. So hi, new listener. How are you? Glad that you can join us and uh, gather, gather your seats and your materials and your, your teas and whatnot. And get, get close. Get close. I'm going to tell you a story. So this happened today at work and I work at a hospital currently and I, my job is to stock medical supplies and um, I go from department to department and doing my thing, dragging this huge cart behind me or with mm-hmm. me with, you know, supplies. Anyway, yeah. I'm in one particular room. Uh, it's a rather large kind of like stock room or supply room is what they refer to it as. And um This one, I'm going to, I think she's a doctor. I I think that she is, but she comes in and I was saying this to Ashley earlier too. There's, there seems to be like three types of doctors that I I tend to uh, encounter at work. Now it was different Mm -hmm. from a doctor patient relationship. This is just a doctor to another staff member who's not a nurse, just some other regular person that they have to work with. Okay. Now, the three types that I tend to come across are, and it, this is just, you know, not everyone applies to this, but the three types, there's the arrogant type, where they just seem to be too busy to be bothered by your presence. And I say that because I might be coming with my cart. They see me. They see the cart. I, they must. They can even hear me. Right. But will they move? You're not to, quiet. I'm not <laughs> quiet. But will they move to accommodate my, me or do I have to actually swivel around them? with this big cumbersome cart and that's one type uh they're annoying i'll say they're even the worst type but if if that's who you are i'm not naming names As a matter of fact i don't even know what your name is I bet you probably have no idea who i am either but hey whatever i'm just saying that's one type second type um oh is it i'm trying to save the last one for the example i'm about to go into the story with because I, I think i forgot what the, the second one is 
other than there are some friendly ones and those I, I absolutely adore them because they treat me like an, a human being and mm-hmm. they are kind. Mm-hmm. They're nice. I like them. Yeah. The other type, and there's probably the one that I'm missing, but the, the type I'm trying to go for right now is the aloof type. And they just have this look about them where like their hair might be just a little disheveled a little bit. They just kind of look like they might be looking through you or they're looking at you trying to figure out like, are you, are you a person? Are you here with me right like, now? Are you real? Are you, right. are you real? Right. They, yeah. they just, they just have this look. I don't want to say it's a thousand yard stare, but it's just one where it's just like, I can, I can see them outside of wearing scrubs and they just probably have like some striped shirt from like when they were a child at one point. Um, <laughs> Um, specific. It's it's how I imagine them outside of work. Like they just go outside and go, you know, play with a ball or something. I don't know. But um, but they have gone to school for many years. And normally these these people that I'm thinking of, they they're actually older. They have like the wizened gray hair, so they really could be quite wise. But they just have this look, like hmm, almost like Yoda. Like when you first meet Yoda, and then you you later find out, it's like, oh, you're actually like really smart and you're strong with mm-hmm. the force. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of doctors these are, but like, I don't know what their, their specialty is. I just know that mm-hmm. they are a doctor. One of them in particular, I kind of interact with pretty often because he looks for boxes and then he's like, no, 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 this box isn't quite the size I need. And so see it. And yes, that is how he sounds. So <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> he, he's nice. He's nice. He's just, he mm-hmm. just has this look about him. Like, yeah. So as for aloofness, there is this one uh, lady doctor who uh, happened to come into this particular uh supply room that i'm in so she comes in kind of peeks in and looks around like um is there a ultrasound machine in here I'm looking for an ultrasound machine and i full disclosure i don't really know what an ultrasound machine looks like despite the fact that i do work in a hospital but there is many <laughs> many many machines especially right. in the area that i'm in so right so it's possible I could be looking, there could be one like a foot away from me and I wouldn't know what it was because that's not my job. I'm not there for that. I'm there to put away uh, syringes, uh, the IV tubing uh, solutions, all that stuff. But yeah, that's not, it's not my job. <laughs> so see, I tell her, I was like, yeah, I don't really know what the uh, ultrasound machine looks like, let alone where it is. So she was like, well, it's like uh, a black box and it's on wheels. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I look around again. I mean, we both look together. There are several machines on wheels. Some of them are cream colored. Some of them are silver. Some of them are white. Some of them have beep boops. Other ones have boop beeps. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. know. So and none I'm of like, them are black. And none of them are black or, or at least they don't kind of jump out to say like, hey, we're an ultrasound machine or I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't I don't know. So she's she's like, oh, OK, well, if you should come across it, do you think you can bring it over to pre-op? And I'm like, um, no, I can't. And I felt proud of myself for actually saying, like telling someone, no, I'm not going to go out of my way to find this thing. that I don't even know what it looks like. Right. Right. Because it's not my job. In fact, I'm actually doing something right now, which is my job. But before I even, you know, further I say that, I don't even say it. I don't have to because she almost like just drops that whole topic. And then she just kind of looks at me like, so what are you up to? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, doing a job, lady. Kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm putting these supplies away. So she's like, oh, okay. Well, you know, if you do come across the ultrasound machine, you just let me know or, you know, bring it over to pre-op. And then she leaves. I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is weird. Very mm-hmm. weird. Have just... you ever seen this lady before? Like, Oh, yeah. I've, okay. okay. I've seen her a couple of times and we've had like minor interactions before. Just like, you know, pleasantries. Hello. How are you? And possibly talk about the weather. But other than that, like she's never really asked me for anything. I've, I don't know her name. I don't. I've seen her on several different floors, so I don't even really know what her department is. Um, but yeah, this is I, I I'm thinking maybe she doesn't really know what it is that I do. So that's probably why she thought she could ask me for right. that. So right. I yeah. leave. I, I don't know. I and I when I leave the room, like right next to the door, 
there is something black on wheels, but I don't know if it was an ultra machine, ultra, ultra machine, <laughs> an ultrasound, ultrasound, ultrasound machine mm-hmm. or not. But uh, like, so I just kind of shrug and keep going because like, hey, I got things to do. <laughs> And I have no I idea where you are, Lee. Right. I, I hope so too, but I don't know. I mean, there's times that people do ask me for things, and but it was it was this interaction was just so strange compared to the, all those other times. Because there's times people ask me for, for other machines, or do I know where this is, or or do we have any more of that? And I'm like, first, I don't stock that, or I have no idea what that is, and like, I'm just here to do this. And even the things I stock, some of those things I don't even know what they are or what they're used for. So I'm just kind of scratching my head and they're like, do you have the, the super line tubing? And I'm like, oh, these, these red things. I'm like, yes, those. I'm like, oh, great. There's that that happens. And then there's also where there's different names for something that like actually has a name. Um, I can only think of one example, but some people call these things. There's like these trays that have all this, uh, instruments and stuff already prepackaged and they're they're like pain management trays but for whatever Mm. reason some people call them chucks i don't know why chucks chucks i don't know why i don't know why but i I I should i should but i'm not i don't stock those anymore in that department so i can't ask them but i was curious because they call them chucks some people call them chucks other people call them uh some other kind of tray something else but I was so confused. There's also these things that they like to call SpongeBob's. Now, those I can get easily confused because they mm-hmm. are, they, I mean, they, they are spongy things. They are, mm-hmm. um, one of them is a headrest, but then there's a bigger thing that's more of an arm cradle. And that looks more like a sponge. Actually, they both look like SpongeBob, to be honest, because they're both yellow and they're both spongy, but one of them is bigger. So they asked for SpongeBob's and I point them to the small headrest things like, no, no, I said SpongeBob's. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I can the, understand the SpongeBob. I'm still trying to figure out the Chuck. So I don't, that, I one's, don't, that one's lost on me. The only thing I could come up with is just, it's just something that like it's small enough where if you pick one up, you can just chuck it at somebody. And, you know, but that's not what they're used for. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, really don't know. But that's just a little, a little slice of what I have to go through from the day to day. So I know there's a select few people that would probably enjoy such a story, such as a mm-hmm. shout out to good friends, Dan and new listener, Shane. So, you know, there you go. Hey, hey, Dan and Shane. <laughs> uh, and I, I did scare um, Shane a little bit, not in the spookums zone kind of way, because she came across an episode of... Um, I'm not sure if we titled one of the episodes here, it's penis time or if it was for the love blurts. <laughs> now, I do you remember? I, Actually, I think, I think that was for love blurts. I think. Yes. <laughs> and I know I did do some cross promotion and put an episode of love blurts on in mm-hmm. And I do remember telling you the story of where it's penis time comes from. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but there's a very specific reason why I titled that episode. That is that's because I'm like, I knew people would be like, oh, my God, what is this about? What I was not expecting was for when Shane saw me because she had been away or no, either. I think I had been away like I had um, we had a funeral recently, so I had been away from work for a few days. So then when she sees me, she's like, I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm glad that you're back. But why do you have a sex podcast? So, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> And I was, I was flabbergasted. I, it takes a lot to get me flabbergasted and, and my, my flabber was gasted. So I had to explain <laughs> to her like, no, no, no. Cause she, she didn't even continue listening. Cause like, I don't want, I can't listen to this filth. And I'm like, but, <laughs> but no, 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 no. It's not about that at all. It's, it's and then I had to find a way to, to say it uh, clearly and cleanly. Cause like, I, mm-hmm. if I just leave it, if I just start out saying, it's like, no, no, it's about kids. Like, no, 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 no. Let me, <laughs> let me back up further right. and, and say, yes, my kid, he runs around and says this when he has to go pee. So, so there, oh, just kind of gotcha, gotcha. 
Mm-hmm. So I had to like clear <laughs> all of the air and then put new air in that was fresh and, and smelling like roses and cinnamon buns. So, and it was able to, you know, it's like, this is the explanation. So you can go back and listen and understand where, where it comes from. Cause my mother was the same way. Cause she, and it was funny cause we were at church. So I, nothing church like was happening, but she was telling me that she was listening. And then she was, she got real quiet. It's like, Oh yeah. And I listened to that one episode, like it's penis time. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. mom. <laughs> that's, Aww, did she whisper it like that? She did. She did. Cause she, I mean, she was talking at a normal volume that she brought it way down. and was looking like shifty eyed around as she was telling me that the title and I'm like, yes, yes. So I'm thinking, and I haven't gone back to look, but I'm wondering if that could be like the highest rated episode so far. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, based on the name. So yeah. Yeah. I, but people also, wanna, they want to hear the things, you know, they want to know. I know. And it's it's titillating and tantalizing. It so is tantalizing. So that only means that I probably that we should probably come up with more titles for like episodes that would just tantalized is like oh what what could this be about so you'll either be like extremely disappointed or like oh it was a joke mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you gotta listen and see mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just i mean just like today again same people dan and shane we had a conversation that led into sausage and how you <laughs> can just shape anything with sausage or sausage can be shaped into anything so i'm like mm-hmm. okay i don't have any comments <laughs> for this particular conversation um, but this would be a good material for like in Dube After Dark, which I know we've teased about many times. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's that's something probably for the Patreon. So, so there you have it, sausage party. <laughs> but I feel like we should get back to the kid because the he's been he's been busy, and since since oh. we last since we last talked. Which is not mm-hmm. entirely true because the last episode we had to um, postpone because we had to bring him to the ER. Yes. Because him and Chief weren't getting along. Mm-hmm. So we had to remove the siblings and Chief is now back with my parents and mm-hmm. the kid is okay. He's fine. Then he went to go hang out with his grandmother, got a little rambunctious, jumping off of stairs after repeatedly being told not to and fell into a vase, broke the vase. <laughs> And some of that vase went to his hand and the result is 15 stitches, which later this week has to be taken out. And he's freaking out about it each time we think about it. each time he thinks about it. Mm-hmm. And now he's like, I don't want to get the stitches taken out. And it's like, well, you can't go run around and play anymore. I'm like, but I want to run around and play, but I don't want to get the stitches taken out. I'm like, well, there's the problem. So, you know, I think this is the first time I'm actually hearing the full story. I don't know that. I, you know, I don't think I've heard it all. So I didn't know it was he fell into a vase. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. I, I figured I was going to keep like I was going to hold on the story until the love blurs, but it might even be difficult for Ashley to even kind of mm. revisit because it was. Yeah. This happened a day before the funeral that we went to. Yeah. So yeah. it was a lot of like emotional stress going on and like, seriously, of course this has to happen. So yeah. it's was, it was like when it rains, it pours kind of situation. Yeah. So, but yeah, he was at his grandmother's house and jumped from some stairs. And I guess there was like a glass vase that was down there that he must have crashed into and landed on. So he had mm-hmm. to be taken to the ER. We've seen pictures of, cause he wasn't with us and we really couldn't get to him yeah. in time. So he was, but yeah, we got pictures. We, we actually probably could see like even still some of the glass that was embedded in his hand. Oh, so they had goodness. to, they That's had to put hard. him out. Cause yeah. yeah. Had, cause he was not having it. Not at all. No. Mm-hmm. That's his heart. Mm-hmm. So once he got back, like he was, I mean, he was good a little because I mean, like I said, they put him under so they could get the stitches in. Um, and now when we have to clean it, we put a blindfold on him because he doesn't like to look at it. But at the same time, he wants to see what's happening. <laughs> so he's curious, but he's like, oh, but it's gross. And it's it's part of me. Ugh. Right, right. It's it's a very odd thing. And and this is <laughs> a time where we're, we realize or remember like, oh, wait, he's six. OK, so, yeah try to you know it's it's a lot but then we also know we he's 
when it's time to do these changes of bandages and whatnot, it's usually pretty late. So he's all sort of tired. So yeah. it's, whew. <laughs> and then I tell this to other people who are, have been parents for many years, many, many years. And I'm like, huh, oh, parenthood. So I was like, oh, that's all you got for me? Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they sympathize with me too, but it, it's really not enough. Not enough. Not I was like, don't you have something? Is this where you, you know, do you have some secret like drug that like, do you spike a <laughs> bottle or something? What, what do you do? Help me. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, oh, you know, like, meh. Mm, yeah, yeah, you got this. Yeah. It's just a wild boy, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be the last time. I'm like, great. Thank you. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. <sighs> so well, yeah, that, that's. I, I sympathize that's part. with you. Mm-hmm. I'm there. I'm with. I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got well, you. Because <laughs> I mean, these are the talks that you and I have, as as you know, mm-hmm. having uh, as you call them bonus children, which is now what, mm-hmm. I, what I call you know the kid. So mm-hmm. it's it's exhausting. Just and and now just finding the time to like, okay, let's how do we uh, approach attack this this issue. With love, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like okay. Can can you age up like a year so I can explain? Because I'm I'm also finding different words because I even use the word context and I had to explain what context meant because of uh, uh words that uh, are the same but mean different things like bow mm-hmm. and bow. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, it all de- it all depends on the context you're using it. I'm like, oh my god, what am I saying? It. <laughs> talking to a six-year-old here okay uh-huh. remember remember because uh-huh. mm-hmm. i find myself having to define many words as i'm defining another word like concept uh, concept context um, context yep and although mm-hmm. he'll he'll throw words at me like today he was like yeah i was really frustrated I'm like you were frustrated okay all right got the multiple oh, good. syllables I mean, that's, right that's good that he's like he knows even those words, you know, because mm-hmm. a lot of kids don't. Right. You know? Right. So yeah. he's, he's he's in good hands other than the times where he's crazy. But, you know, he's in good hands. <laughs> just, needs to, just needs to listen to, to folks. But I've been yeah. doing a lot of yap, and you've also had a, an interesting time uh, specifically seeing a certain show. <gasps> yeah. I finally saw Hamilton. Mm. I just imagined like you becoming a cartoon character and just like just just growing to immense size, like your eyes just grew and you're like yeah. like and just glowing. bursting, glowing. Yes. So mm-hmm. and I and I told yes. you told me about this. You told me when you got the tickets, you told me the <laughs> day you were going. You even sent mm-hmm. me a picture, which was lovely, by the way. You look great. Mm-hmm. And like I, thank you. I, I haven't seen you in many oh, days. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you look you look great, you look healthy in your half happy. You were happy. <laughs> <laughs> um and I finally got to see your brother, which I felt like I don't think I had before. I don't but think you yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but still you you, you were in your element and you're enjoying yes. yourself. Yeah. And you told me, well, you you tell me, because I, I don't I don't wanna, you know. Well, I mean, what do you need to know? The show was amazing. Mm-hmm. I basically, you know, sung every song and I was trying to be quiet because I was like, okay, the people are here to see the show, not to hear me sing. You know, <laughs> they're not here to see me perform. Even though it's not, I a, could, it's not a sing along. It's not a sing along. Yeah, so I just sing along. Not really. I mean, it kind of is, but because it is a musical, mm-hmm. but I don't need to, I don't need to perf- outperform the, the stage crew because, hey, we're here to see them. So, but it was, it was awesome. We, we went to dinner, me and the, the group of friends and my brother that I was uh, there with and um, found a great parking spot. So it was just beautiful. You know, we went to um, the show right after dinner, obviously. And it was just, it was just awesome. It was so worth the wait. And, you know, of course I had my, my nits and my picks, you know, because I, have studied this show for a while. I've seen, mm-hmm. you know, now two companies present this show. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, one's Disney Plus, but that counts too. So, okay. Um, <laughs> I'll allow but, it. I'll you know, allow it. 
but I mean, it was just, it was so good. It was so interesting watching the play because yeah, I did see it on Disney plus and I know the cast album, the cast recording forwards and backwards, but to hear it sung by a whole different company to see it performed in person, I caught a lot of things that either were unique to the company um, um, performing the show or, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been able to see in the Disney performance. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like tight shots, like really close to the face or close to the body in the, on Disney plus, which is great, but that does take away from some of the um, more dramatic scenes that like, for instance, the one, um, is it called hurricane? Or basically Hamilton's like, um, he, he got to write his way out. He has to yes, get himself out hurricane. of trouble. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure on the Disney, Disney Plus version, um, like you see that the um, ensemble basically does a lot of slow motion. They do a lot of like circular motions because they're simulating a, a hurricane. Mm-hmm. And you see that in on, on the... Um, recorded version but to see it in person to even see like the lighting choices that they used to um to spotlight everything it was just it was just incredible and I cannot like rave about it enough because I loved it so much it's interesting how I've really been a fan since what 2016 or something when you introduced it to me Mm -hmm. and I've been a fan ever since and still even still seeing it in person still just was like I, there were there were still a lot of surprises and a lot of unexpected delights and I just uh, it was so it was so good so good mm. ready to see it again <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's like uh, people who get a tattoo they just want another one at some point need more yeah mm-hmm. it's true I still have yet to see it um but I'm sure down the line I will, especially with a theater nerd like my wife is. So mm-hmm. it's it'll it'll happen eventually. Except what I'm waiting for, which will be happening in a couple of weeks now, I'll be going to see John Mulaney, and I am no, excited about that. Right. He did host SNL recently, which he did a good job. Like he, I mean, he normally does because he's a veteran. In fact, he just joined the Five Timers Club, but um. I love his monologues because usually it's maybe like a snippet of whatever like set he's currently doing. So I have no idea if that that is or if it's just something he wrote specifically for this episode. But either way, hilarious. Love it. And um, but back to you watching Hamilton. And I told you this when I think you or I think you were it was in our conversations and I said you basically manifested it and said you were going to see that show and mm-hmm. and you did mm-hmm. it was and one you, of those things where it was absolutely going to happen no no doubt about it didn't mm-hmm. know when or how but i mean because matter of fact in 2020 is when it was initially going to come um here to little rock where i live and mm-hmm. then covid happened and so then i heard nothing about it and literally about 12 just just under two years later it's back and i'm at the show so it's it's a real crazy whirlwind feeling to be like oh yeah i did kind of say and will this to happen and here Mm -hmm. i am you know it's like i'm going to that show no don't even stop me Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not even the rona can stop this okay (laughs) I'm gonna be there even if I'm the only one if you were the only one I don't know how that would have been they wouldn't yeah (laughs) yeah um but that's great I am glad that you got to go I'm glad you had a great time I mean I knew that you would and I knew that you would cry because you did tell me you cried at the very end you said you got most of it out beforehand but you still cried that's the that's the point tears were shed oh it's gonna happen you knew that I did I did because just cry at the, the I don't say the littlest things, but the, the things that sometimes surprise me that affect you. I'm like, you, mm. you credit that too? <laughs> That's a hater. <laughs> Not hating, just observing, but also, I guess it's just maybe a little bit of judgmental observing. What With love, of course. With love. Mm. <laughs> maybe there's a different term for judgment with love. Mm. Is there? Whatever. No, it's not. No? 
we'll workshop it. <laughs> and we'll find something. Because I feel like there there would be like a word, and and that's um that's what that's what poets are for to find the words. Exactly. It, mm-hmm. So there's there's got to be a word for it. Um, and I'm just writing it down so I can look it up later because I'm pretty sure there's one. So yeah, but we'll we'll transition. We'll move on because I feel like you're still like shunning me and, and giving me side eye, even though I can't see you, but I can oh, feel I'm it. I'm glad you. I'm glad you could feel it down of in course. your soul. I I mean, you're side eyeing like the basements of my heart that <laughs> that that, that love and care for you, and I'm like, mm-hmm. but 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 yeah, okay, so we'll. <laughs> move on to our black history fact which i've actually been scrolling through like way before we even began because i'm like what are we going or we but i don't know I, I normally pick them but since we're coming off of black history month and going into women's history month I'm like mm-hmm. i'm trying to find a black woman of uh notoriety that i haven't discussed before and i feel like I've at least I've been doing a good service for this this podcast because many mm-hmm. of the figures that I find happen to be black women. Nice. nice. So so a lot of the black women that I keep finding or or that I found like even in just today, I've already done. And I'm like, huh. Surely they can't be all of them. And I know it isn't. It's just interesting how they're like, hey, little known, you know, black history fact or or uh mm-hmm. I want to say like, like a hidden figure type Mm -hmm. person. And I'm just, I just feel good knowing that like, Hey, I knew about this person already. I might not have like been able to recall them off the top of my head, but as soon as I read their name or what they're famous for or Mm -hmm. should be famous for, I'm like, Mm -hmm. I know her. So yeah. (laughs) I love that. I love that. So that's awesome. We're, we are well informed and well educated. mm Mm-hmm. Even if I don't remember it like right away until I'm like, oh yeah, we did a little thing about that. So today I did find one and I feel it's appropriate because, oh wait, let me just play this real quick before I forget. Black history. Black history. Black history. Black history. Facts. Since, you know, black history fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I want to do this one because of what's happening currently black history wise and you'll you'll get it in a second uh jane bolin graduated from yale law school and was the first black woman to become a judge now there's a whole story here but Mm -hmm. uh that's basically just like the headline and Mm -hmm. doing that because of the fact of um hold on i gotta get her name because i lost it kentanji brown jackson i don't know if that's how you pronounce her first name but that is Biden's nominee for the Supreme Court, being the first black woman to ever be on the, the Supreme Court. So mm-hmm. hopefully all goes well. And I don't know if she's Miss or Miss Jackson, but it'll be Supreme Supreme Justice Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Hopefully, it's a big deal. I mean, it, I don't even know how many black women have been nominated in the past i don't know if there's a way to like check that out or i'm not sure if that's something that's just really recorded a whole lot or or kept Mm -hmm. but i I don't know of any that have been nominated i don't either but that is a good question in fact i will maybe I'll, i'll research that and come back to you next episode with that information okay but for now uh the the spotlight is on jane bolin She was a trailblazer for black women in the legal field, making history as not only the first black woman to graduate from Yale Law Law School, but the first black woman to join the New York City Bar Association and the nation's first black female judge. Bolin, the daughter of an influential lawyer, was interested in the law from a young age. She knew she wanted a career in the social justice field. And upon graduating from Yale Law, she was appointed a family court judge as the first black female judge. She garnered headlines across the nation or around the nation. Bolin was known for being a compassionate judge. She didn't wear judicial robes in order to make children feel comfortable in court and Aww. ensured. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I felt too. It's so <laughs> it, nice. <laughs> it is. 
uh, and ensured everyone who appeared before her was given equal treatment. She served on the bench for 40 years. Everyone else makes a fuss about it, but I didn't think about it, and I still don't, she told the New York Times. I wasn't concerned about being first, second, or last. My work was my primary concern. Oh, I love that. And yet here she is making history. Mm-hmm. And now it's it's real. It's real. Yep. <laughs> I, I if anything, I'll I'll follow up about her too because my um phone will die soon. So <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> I will do follow up on uh Jane Bolin as well as talk about the eventual Supreme Court Justice Jackson. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that is for next time. Huh. As for next time, I don't know what else. I'll, I'll have more segments because I, I did look up some articles for Florida or Florida don't, but I didn't mm-hmm. have enough to play the game. Couldn't find anything of interest. What? That, I know. I mean, I'm sure they're I mean, there, but I mostly only they're found probably four. just, I mean, there's got to be just, um, there's a lot going on in the world. Maybe they're just like stunned and uh, just taking introverts like an introversion what am i trying to say and they're being introspective right now Mm. maybe that's what's happening is they are not really wanting to show out because they're just looking at everything that's going on in the world and they just want to take a chill pill for a little while that's got to be it right no 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 (laughs) it's Mm. just i think because because florida is still being florida and i couldn't find any Mm. articles outside of florida that sounded like they were floridian Uh, Gotcha. I see. So, I see. So the rest of the world, except for Florida, is is being chill right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> except for Florida. The Florida is still Florida. Florida. Right. <laughs> right. And I didn't want to do that to you and have all the articles be Florida because oh, what fun is that? I mean, it's a little bit it's of fun, but easy. like, yeah. right? No, it's right. too easy. I, so, I want a little bit of a challenge. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's the point of it. So I, I will do better and maybe check some different sources next time. And uh, also not at the last minute. So that way I can Mm -hmm. have everything a bit more organized and ready to go. So that that is uh, definitely for next time. Nothing was happening in Sheboygan as far as I could tell. Although normally if if that if nothing is happening, I would even still do a weather report. But I think the weather report was even boring to me. So, yeah, I was going to say the same thing here in Connecticut. But nope, the weather's been a little weird. Like it was about mm, 50 degrees today, but now it's snowing, I think. Oh. <laughs> so I, I don't know. And as uh, I also told a coworker, Mother Nature's just flipped the table because like she's just done with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Because she, anytime, listen, every <laughs> year Arkansas weather really just astounds me. And I don't know why I'm acting so brand new because I don't know enough about like geography and why weather affects certain places in certain ways or whatever. But I do know that the the moment I try to understand the weather that I live in and that directly affects me, the more confused I am. So I just am like, you know what? I'm going to take it day by day. Like mm-hmm. last week we had ice and we were, well, we were so, supposed to have ice and it didn't happen. And like today, you know, we started out at, you know, 30 degrees, 40, well, maybe 35 degrees. And then it was like 75 degrees. And I saw somebody, I went to Lowe's, one of my favorite places on earth. Mm -hmm. And I saw some, I was out in the outdoor garden center and I saw someone in a coat. And I'm like, you know what? I can't even judge her because she probably wore the coat this morning because it was cold. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Now why she... Why she still has it now, has it on now, you know, I can't speak to that, but I'm definitely not judging her because it's hard out here. You just, you don't know what to do or what to wear ever. I mean, and that explains the people that sometimes wear shorts, but also has a sweatshirt and Mm because you're just trying to balance. Right. And that's, that's what I do. I usually try to dress for the day. If I know the day is going to end in like 70 degrees, I'm going to dress for (laughs) that, but I'll be prepared for what the early part of the day will bring Mm. it's just it's just weird when the reverse happens which it sometimes even recently has done where it will start out Mm -hmm. 70 or maybe i'll say 60 high 50s high 50s but then it'll end in like i don't know the high 20s 
because that has happened yeah. in the last week and it's yeah, terrible i believe it it yeah. sucks absolutely no supposed to prepare for this like no, it, nobody can prepare for this right and you i mean you 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 can read the weather or you could just stay home i think that's the, really the safest bet just stay that's home probably the, yeah just mm-hmm. stay home don't people yeah. don't do anything just just live your best life alone so just, just call uh, get DoorDash. You know, just you know don't leave don't leave your house yeah don't leave your home because mm-hmm. the weather is nuts and the, the weather like space and like the oceans just trying to kill you so mm-hmm. yep you heard it here first you heard it here just that's how you be safe in these streets just in 2022 don't. just stay home yeah yeah not because of the pandemic no it's because of the weather and <laughs> And do you well, really? But think also the pandemic. <laughs> a, l- a little bit, but outside is overrated. Really, yeah. I mean, so I, overrated. I know you're you're trying to build some out thing outdoor things and make the outside look nice, but that's different because it's your home and you can you know be enclosed in that space. Yeah, um, that's not really talking about outside the way. Out- oh, we're talking yeah. about outside. We're, yeah, yeah, we're talking about being on the street and having to see people. Yeah, you out don't on the street with. Right. And interact strangers. with said people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stranger, yeah. stranger danger is a real Right. Thing. Exactly. They're dangerous. The strangers mm-hmm. and the weather. Stay inside. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's 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 the PSA for today. So we've done our public service announcement. We talked our black history. Um I told you about the kid trying to just scare all of his parents and family members. Um, you saw Hamilton. I think it was a good day or a good a good, you know, a couple of weeks. So mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot has Can't been accomplished. No, nope, no, nope. except for that, that, that uh, one thing that I'm no, I'm over. You're not over it, but I'm over it. So yeah, other than that, we're all good. <laughs> right, Things are keep, it, great. keep it moving. The sun is burning. We're we're good. It's, <laughs> I mean, shining. I'm shining. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it's all well, trying it to is, kill us. It is burning. It is burning. The sun is burning. <laughs> I'm trying to sound peaceful and pleasant just in case people are, you know, anxious and worried, but uh, anywhere that people can find you, if you want to be found, if you're chatting anywhere or, um, you know, links. Yeah. Well, you can find me on the Twitter at I am K Hinton. Where it's been a little quiet lately, but you know, I'm still there. I'm still kind of lurking in the shadows. You, you just never know. You always got to be prepared to see me when you don't think you will there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, catch me on the Twitters every now and then, sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, I do have breaking news. Can, can you hit me real quick? <laughs> so this actually it happened maybe a couple hours ago or so. But as you were mentioning Twitter and how I'll say the both of us were not really on there as much, but I was today making comments because um, Disney Plus will soon be home to the netflix series daredevil jessica jones luke cage <gasps> iron fist the defenders really? the punisher and oh abc's agents of shield what so all of those will be really? streaming march 16th wow are they getting are they taking it off um netflix the, i believe netflix they will shows? be leaving netflix yes that sounds about right mm-hmm. so, about time yeah, and I made a comment saying, um, oh, because they also included available in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand, updated uh, parental controls available in the U.S. on March 16th, to which I responded, yeah, because Luke Cage be asking for coffee and the kiddos ain't ready for that yet. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that those shows are coming to Disney and so we can have all the Marvel stuff under one roof even if they're not MCU Marvel. I'll say most. Um, Because I I made another mm -hmm. comment. And, uh, oops, nope, that's not my comment. Well, it's with a GIF. But basically, (laughs) that uh, almost all the MCU, uh, because um, meanwhile, Sony is holding on to Spider-Man films. Like uh, Chappelle was acting as Diddy and kind of clutching all his money. Because mm-hmm. they don't want to give that up, but someone had mm-hmm. told me that um, they they might be able to, they might be going to Disney Plus for a little while, but I haven't looked at that up yet to confirm. Oh my gosh, I wish somebody was um, somebody was like doing a live on TikTok and they were um, uh, playing Spider Man No Way Home, No Way Home. That's the last one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
so and I it was oh, it was at the beginning and I was like you know how I feel about that movie I love it so much <laughs> and I've only seen it once and I'm ready to see it again and like catch stuff and I almost watched it but it was late and I had to not watch it right then and there but it would just make my heart so happy if Disney Plus would finally well if Sony and Disney would finally just be friends get along give us Spider-Man so we can watch <sighs> To their credit, to their credit, they are doing a good service, working together, at least by bringing what they brought so far, like allowing even the past Spider-Men to join in. That's true. That is true. So, okay, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. Fine. I mean, I mean, <laughs> but you're right. You're right. Let let them all because I mean, Disney Plus even has like a on their Marvel channel, all of the MCU like in chrono- chronological order, including all of the one shots. And mm-hmm. just the series. So I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing here. I like it. Mm-hmm. But there are some gaps. Sony. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's just need to drop that in there. I know we didn't do moment of gratefulness and recommendations, but do you have any recommendations? I recommend watching Abbott Elementary. If you mm. haven't, it is a wonderful show by Quinta Brunson. I'm still trying to figure out how I first found out about Quinta, like when I first heard of her. I'm pretty sure it was Twitter, but I don't recall. It's been a long, long time ago. So to see her, you know, at the helm of ABC's highest rated TV show, is it Mm. ever or just right now? I'm not sure. I know it it beat Modern Family, which was... It it beat Modern Family, yeah. Which was huge. huge. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm just I'm just so proud of her. Uh, I really do love the show, and you know I just I just go check it out. It's awesome. It reminds me a lot of The Office, um, mm-hmm. but it has more black people and brown people, and it's got little cute little kids, and just the story is neat. So uh, just check it out. It's awesome. Can't really recommend it enough, honestly. I'm I'm just going to piggyback off of that and and co-sign it because what it's I'll put it this way something else that just made like my my heart just like burst a little bit um mm-hmm. I'm just going to read the tweet as it as it stands Abbott Elementary showrunner Quinta Brunson says the production team and network redirected some of the show's marketing money to help buy supplies for teachers Oh that's perfect that's that is See, yeah, 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 that's just perfect. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, if you're not watching it. that show, Abbott Elementary, please do. And I hope it's on for as many seasons as Quinta wants it to be on because mm-hmm. I, I know we would all want it to be on forever, but I know she's going to want to do bigger and better things. But right now, this right. is her thing. I love and that. Yeah. I, I am here for it. So, may it continue on and on forever and ever. Amen. Um, Okay, yeah, I guess let me wrap it up because that that was a wrap up for a prayer and not a <laughs> podcast. All Why right. can't it be both? It, I mean, that just might happen maybe after episode two hundred. I'll just rewrite how the episode ends, and that that's that's how it happens. But I'll for now. Um, follow me on all things that and do go to indube.com. Tell someone you value that you value them, live without regrets, and live for the folks you love. Please wash your legs, face, bottoms of your feet, and the undersides of your dishes. Get vaccinated, wear your mask. I've been your benevolent host, T. Sterling Watson. And remember, if the world didn't suck, we'd all fall off. Thank you forever. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. I mean, it's not it's not your best word, but it's I know, you know I like it. I'll have to rework how I said it before forever and ever um, whatever i did whatever i said and then rework it into the new ending so i've got so much homework I mean, to do you do i mean mm-hmm. i like it though we'll, we'll, we'll get there something. right mm-hmm. yeah we'll go back and, and check it out and post but yeah that's the show and i'm sorry i didn't let you uh fly away but if okay. the world didn't suck we'd all fall off It's like fine today. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Indu podcast, which was recorded from the south side of Wakanda in Little New Indubia on the corner of Tachaka and MLK Drive, and is part of the Indu network. 
Want more Indube? Follow on Instagram and Twitter at Indube and on Facebook at Indube Pod. You can contact us and send Ask Indube questions by emailing IndubePod at gmail.com. Want to support or donate? Find the T Public Store or become a patron on Patreon, where subscribing gives you perks and extra things from the Indube Network. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and share the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, Podbean, and wherever else podcasts are found. And of course, visit Indube.com for all of this and much more. Thank you so much for letting us entertain, enlighten, and provide an auditory escape with knowledge and nonsense. Until next time. Use your words, Chief. Good boy. This has been another 3SFX production. 